surface quality and sharp strike seen on both sides. Its exceptional eye appeal makes it stand out in every way. This remarkable coin sold for $787.50 at a great collections auction, showcasing both its rarity and desirability among collectors. It's astonishing, but this seemingly ordinary pocket change, a 2008 P Kennedy half dollar, fetched over $500 at a great collections auction. What makes this coin so special? The 2008 P Kennedy half dollar satin finish is a unique release from the United States Mint. Struck at the Philadelphia Mint, these coins received a special treatment to achieve a satin-like finish, unlike the typical shine of circulating coins. Uh, this satin finish gives the coin a distinct appearance, with a slightly matte surface that sets it apart from regular business strike coins. The 2008 P Kennedy Half Dollar Satin Finish was part of the 2008 United States Mint Uncirculated Coin Set, which also featured other coins from that year. These sets were, were exclusively sold by the U.S. Mint and were not intended for circulation, enhancing the collectability of the coins within them. By 1936, the worst years of the Great Depression had passed and the economy was on the mend, leading to increased economic activity and a need for a large coinage of quarter dollars at the Philadelphia Mint. As a result, the 1936 P quarter is abundant across all grades up to MS-66, with a fair number of certified MS-67 examples available for discerning collectors. The typical 1936 P quarter exhibits bright, lustrous surfaces, although many may show dye erosion lines. While these lines can sometimes enhance a coin's luster, collectors are advised to look for pieces struck from fresh dyes for the best quality. For this date and subsequent issues through 1964, the Philadelphia Mint's engraving department used the heavy motto subtype of 1934 as the master hub for this coin series. Although the obverse was later slightly modified to sharpen the designer's initials, the master hubs from 1936 endured for all circulating quarters until the switch to copper nickel-clad coinage in 1965 necessitated lower relief. This particular specimen was graded as Mint State 67 plus and later received approval from CAC. It sold for $960 on May 7th, 2024 at Heritage Auctions, showcasing its exceptional quality and appeal to collectors. Have you ever come across a penny like this? This elusive error scent was double struck during the minting process, with the second strike being 25% off center. Graded as AU58 Brown by NGC, the off center second strike results in a portion of the design being missing or misaligned, creating a visually striking and unusual appearance. Errors like this are highly sought after by collectors due to their rarity and the visual appeal of the error. This specific coin recently sold for $408 at Heritage Auctions, showcasing both its rarity and the interest it generates among collectors. Behold, this more than century-old uncirculated Lincoln cent recently fetched a staggering $23,400 at a coin auction. It's the 1914D Lincoln cent in mint state 66 red and brown. While the 1914D is often considered a secondary key date to the 1909 SVDB, it's actually rarer in high grade. PCGS reports only 18 premium gems split between brown, red, and brown, and red color designations with none numerically finer. The present coin is one of only four red and brown pieces in this grade. A sharp strike complements satiny, copper, orange, and golden hues beneath a dusting of chestnut brown toning. No mentionable spots or abrasions are seen, affirming this coin's quality and earning it c has endorsement. This is a high-end example in a rare grade. If you have a 1914D Lincoln scent, even in circulated and worn condition, uh, it's highly recommended to, to submit it for professional grading. Who knows, it could be a hidden gem. 1938D is by far the most common buffalo nickel in mint state condition, but worn examples are actually rarer. This issue comes in all conditions, with both well-struck and mushy coins surviving in equal numbers. The one constant is that 1938D Buffalo nickels were wonderfully lustrous when made, leading to a high certified population of high-grade coins. However, many of these are less than fully struck and should be avoided by discerning collectors. One exception that commands premiums is the famous repunched mint mark variety. To spot this error, 
closely examine the tiny mint mark on the back side of the coin. The mint mark is clearly repunched to the right of the initial impression. This specific error specimen is in mint state 65, exhibiting razor sharp definition on all design elements and virtually flawless lustrous surfaces. It was sold for $119 on May 8, 2024, showcasing its appeal to collectors. According to PCGS CoinFAX, there are five major double die Washington quarters from 1932 to date. The 1934 double die obverse quarter is the most dramatic double die in the entire Washington quarter series. It is also the most common of the five major double die Washington quarters. The obverse exhibits very strong doubling in the words in God we trust with the word liberty and the date also showing strong but less dramatic doubling. The other four major double die quarters from 1932 to date are the 1937, 1942D, 1943, and 1943D double die quarters. This circulated quarter was graded as AU55 by PCGS and sold for $336 at Heritage Auctions. In conclusion, these rare and valuable U.S. coins sold at auctions showcase the rich history and allure of numismatics. Each coin tells a story of its own, from the elusive errors to the well-preserved gems. As collectors and enthusiasts, it's important to appreciate not just the monetary value of these coins, but also the historical and cultural significance they carry. If you enjoyed learning about these coins and found the information valuable, please consider giving this video a like. Your support helps us continue to create content like this. Don't forget to share this video with fellow collectors or anyone interested in numismatics. Your share could spark someone else's passion for coin collecting. We'd love to hear your thoughts and insights in the comments below. Share with us your favorite coin from this video or any interesting coin stories you have. Your comments keep the conversation going and enrich our community of coin enthusiasts. Finally, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Subscribing ensures you won't miss out on future videos showcasing more rare and valuable U.S. coins, auction highlights, and numismatic insights. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy collecting.